Ladies and gentlemen, my name is Matt Rogers and welcome to your spoiler-free review of the new Netflix original, You Get Me. Now, Netflix original movies are known for being hits or misses, but they've got a hit with this one. In the earlier scenes, the cinematography looked a bit like a B-grade indie movie, but picked up afterwards and actually had a good use of neon colours throughout, which looked amazing. The main character Tyler, played by Taylor John Smith, had a few cheesy lines, but portrayed the unravelling of his character really well. However, the real show-stopping performance was from Bella Thorne, who was incredible from start to finish. We've seen her most recently in minor roles in the teen comedy The Duff and a cameo in the MTV Scream series, but she's definitely come a long way since her early days in Disney's Shake It Up. You don't like us? Oh, who am I kidding? You're gonna love us. <laughs> her role in this could have easily been a cringy one, but Thorne actually becomes genuinely terrifying in some scenes. Nash Greer makes his proper feature film acting debut here, which is an obvious eye roll as soon as I saw him, but he didn't deliver a half bad performance, although his role was rather minor. But overall, the storyline was in some ways predictable and not exactly original, but it never got boring and still managed to create some real tension, and it's getting a thumbs up from me. Well that's it for this episode, thanks so much for hanging out, if you had a good time then spank that like button, and if you subscribed during this video then welcome aboard. This is Matt Rogers, signing off.